Hey boys and girls, welcome to Harvest Kids today. I am here inside our church and I'm trying to get to Harvest Kids and I know I'm gonna have to make a lot of decisions turning left and right to get there. So come along with me now. Harvest Kids, no. So here we are at a crossroads and I have a decision to make. Should I walk this way to get to Harvest Kids or should I walk this way? Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna choose this way. Come on. I hope this is the right way. Okay, now I have another decision to make. Should I go this way or that way? Uh, I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna maybe pick this way and see what happens. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, this was not the right way to get to Harvest Kids. Looks like we're gonna have to turn around and go the other way. Well, it looks like we're at another crossroads, but before we make our decision here, this reminds me of today's Bible story where the kingdom that Solomon was king over was divided into two different parts. But before we get to our Bible story, we are going to do a craft, play a game, have some worship, and have lots of fun. And it starts with worship right now. So stand up to your feet, stand up, that's right, and let's get worshiping.
Hey boys and girls, welcome to today's Focus Up moment where we take a little time to change it up and focus on a part of God in worship. And today we're going to be singing a song. And since our Bible story today was about choosing one direction or another, this song that we're going to sing together is called Waymaker. And the words talk about how God is the way maker. And, and it is true, God always makes a way. So would you sing just the verse and the chorus with me in worship? If you need to, get in a different part of the room or maybe turn the lights down so we can really just focus on God right now in worship. So let's sing together. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 Okay, you ready to sing the chorus one more time? You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 Good job with everybody for worship, calling God the way maker, because he makes a way, doesn't he? All right, well, thanks for joining me in today's Focus Up moment. Hello boys and girls, welcome to our game today. It's called This or That. So this is a game where everyone stands up. So right now, stand up wherever you're at. I'm gonna give you two items and you choose which one you'd rather have. And you need to move to this side of the room or this side of the room to make your choice. Okay, everybody ready? So let's get started with our first choice. Would you rather eat pizza or a hamburger. Move in the part of the room of which one you would choose. I'd rather eat pizza. Yummy. Plus there's 12 of them. I'd rather have a hamburger because uh, you can also eat 12 hamburgers. Which one would you choose? All right, I think you made your choice. Good job, everybody. Let's go to our second choice now. Would you rather eat something that's vanilla or chocolate? I would rather have vanilla because vanilla tastes good. Chocolate, yuck. Uh, Chocolate all the time on strawberries, chocolate ice cream, chocolate cake. And kids, what did you decide? Vanilla or chocolate? There's no wrong answer, but good job choosing. Okay, now our third choice is, would you rather eat ice cream or a popsicle? Uh, Mike, I would much rather have ice cream than a popsicle. What do you mean? Popsicles are awesome. No way, ice cream's better. Boys and girls, which one did you decide? Okay, let's get to our fourth choice now. Would you rather travel to the mountains with snow or the beach with warm water? Uh, hello, snow is fun. You can have snowball fights. Yeah, but the beach has surfing, so I choose the beach on this side. Well, did you make your choice? How much fun? Okay, let's go to our next choice now. Would you rather bike, ride a bike, or ride a skateboard. All right, we got some bikers in here and some skateboarders in here. Totally cool. All right, let's get our next one now. Would you rather be Spider-Man or Batman? I would rather be Spider-Man because I can climb on all the walls and shoot webs. Well, I would rather be Batman because Batman is cool. What did you decide? 
All right. Well, let's go to our next choice now. Would you rather have a pet rabbit or a pet snake? Oh, oh, oh no, I hope no one chooses snake. Why not? Snakes are cool. But they eat rabbits and they're so cute. Rabbits are fluffy. Boys and girls, which one did you decide? Oh man, that divided us, didn't it? <laughs> Okay, let's go to our next choice now. This one will be a little bit easier. Would you rather watch TV or read a book? TV, obviously. Mike. Mike! Hello, Mike! Huh? Oh, I'd rather read a book. Okay, now our next choice. Would you rather fly on a plane or go cruise on a mega huge yacht boat? I'd rather fly up in the sky. I'd rather float on a boat. Which one did you choose? Okay, well there's no wrong answer, so good job everybody. All right, here's our last one. Would you rather travel to the moon or the sun? I'd rather travel to the moon because you're weightless. I'd rather travel to the sun because I want to get a tan, all right. And I want to roast some s'mores. Which one did you guys choose? Thanks for playing a game with me today. Our game today has a lot to do with a nation divided in the Bible story. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for playing our game today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, kids. I'm Crystal, and today we are unboxing the Bible. If you don't know what unboxing is, it's kind of like when you get a Christmas present or a birthday present or maybe something from Amazon. But this is even better because we are unboxing the Word of God. Let's see what today's word is. K-I-N-G, King. Today's word comes from the Bible verse, 1 Timothy 6.15, which says, For at just the right time, Christ will be revealed from heaven by the blessed and only Almighty God, the King of all kings and Lord of all lords. This time, say it with me. 1 Timothy 6.15 For at just the right time, Christ will be revealed from heaven by the blessed and only Almighty God, the King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Great job! Now let's turn our attention to today's lesson. Hey kids, welcome to our Bible story today. We're in the book of 1 Kings and we're talking about King who? King Solomon, that's right. Remember in a past Bible study, we learned that God gave Solomon one wish and that was for wisdom. Solomon wanted wisdom and so God gave him wisdom to be really smart and he used that wisdom to grow his kingdom and he got so much gold and so many items like chariots and he built a palace and it was all filled with gold and ivory and he was the richest man that ever existed because of his wisdom and a lot of what he did everything he did please god until he let those riches get to him because he made that the king of his life and so the people in the kingdom that solomon was overseeing they started making idols. They started taking all that gold and, and making statues for themselves and they started looking to another God. Was God happy about that? No. God had given Solomon all the riches, all the money that he could ever want. And Solomon displeased God because he let all the people worship idols. So what was the consequence from that? God removed his hand of blessing off Solomon and he told Solomon that his kingdom was gonna come to an end. Solomon made a big mistake. Well, what happened was, was the people in the kingdom started separating into two different sides. Some people wanted this man named Jeroboam as king, and some people wanted Solomon as king. And so the nation of Israel separated into two. What can we learn from this? Well, we can learn that no matter how much money you have, no matter how much gold you have, it's more important to make God the king of your life in everything that you do. We should never let stuff get in the way of us looking to God. Did you know God sent Jesus to be the perfect king? Solomon made mistakes. He was not perfect. But Jesus is the perfect king of kings. And when we follow Jesus, he leads us to God and he 
never lets us down. And so I wanna tell you boys and girls that you should always have God as the king of your life. And in our lives, sometimes we have friends that want to do maybe bad things and maybe they wanna get into trouble. And so we're divided with our friends. As Christians, we're supposed to love God and follow him and obey what he says. But some boys and girls wanna get into trouble and mischief and go down this path. So it will come a time in our lives, boys and girls, that maybe you see kids doing things that you know are wrong and you have to go the other way and we are divided because we love God. And so the most important thing over all stuff on earth, over all of our choices and all of our friends is who is king of your life? Are you gonna make the good choices? Are you gonna obey your parents and pray and read your Bible and follow what God wants you to do? Or are you gonna go down the other path? And what happened when Solomon went down the other path? God removed his hand of blessing from him as king and he was eventually king no longer. So that's what we can learn from our Bible story today out of 1 Kings. But guess what? Jesus is the king of kings. So let's follow him and obey him. Would you pray with me and ask God to help us be strong, making him the king of kings? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your Bible story to us today. And we want to follow you. We wanna choose you to be the king of our lives. So help us to always obey you and help us to understand that it's not about how much stuff we have on this earth, but who is our king of our lives. So we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks for joining me today in our Bible lesson. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, friends. My name is Miss Sophie. It's so nice to meet you guys. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Okay, today for Crafty Time, we're gonna be making a tambourine. It's a musical instrument that we can use to praise the Lord. For today, the supplies that we'll need are paper plates, ribbon, some pom-poms, we'll use some glue, some scissors, a hole punch, staplers, and beans. So let's get started. We'll use a paper plate, and we're gonna fold it in half. This will encase the beans. We can use our hole punch and put about five holes, if I know how to do this. How do you use a hole punch? Got it. Okay, ouch. We'll put about five hole punches. Difficult. Now that we have our punches, we're gonna staple one corner. That way, when we put the beans, they won't fall out. You can take your beans and you can pour them into the plate, but make sure that you hold it so they don't fall. Once the beans are in, we'll close it up and staple it. Once it's stapled, this is how it should look. Beans inside, and you can shake it. We'll take some ribbon. With our ribbon, we'll line it all out, and we can cut so that we can use it for some flair. We want more color. We want purple. Now that you have your ribbon cut, we can string it through the plate holes and tie it off. This will make it look fun. And to tie the ribbon on, you can just do a normal knot. Just tie it around, and it'll stay snug. If the ribbon seems too loose, you can tie it in a double knot to make sure it's secure. Perfect. And there's our ribbon. Now we can add some of the pom-poms. We'll take our glue and put a little bit, but not too much that it runs away. And we can stick the pom-poms right on our dot of glue. And if you don't have pom-poms, you can use anything you'd like. Stickers work perfect. And the colors are totally up to you. And there we go. Here's our completed craft, our tambourine. We can use it to make music for the Lord. You're all done. And it's so colorful, huh? If you guys followed along in making this craft, we want to see it. Take a picture and post it to Instagram. Tag us at Harvest Kids Live so we can see it too. We can make music together. Thanks so much for joining us for today's Crafty Time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, so here we are. I have one more decision to make, this way or this way. I can kind of see that this is the way that we should go. So come on, we're almost there. Harvest kids. I think I see it. We made it to Harvest Kids. We chose the right way. Well, thanks for joining us in our service today. We learned that when King Solomon chose to not follow and obey God, that God took his hand of blessing. And I wanna remind you that we always wanna follow God as king of our lives because we want God's blessing. 
And it's not about our earthly possessions. It's not about stuff on this earth. It's about pleasing God and living for Him. So I want to encourage you to do that and make the right decisions today, even if your friends are choosing other decisions. We can follow what God wants us to do. Well, thank you for joining us in our service. Can't wait to be with you again. If you want to follow us on YouTube and Instagram, you can at Harvest Kids Live. And subscribe to us so you know when our next service comes online. And we'll see you next time. I'm going to head on into Harvest Kids now. Hey, yellow dog.